anywhere between six uh, to 12 inches in some places, especially in North Central Iowa. Hello again, everybody. I'm meteorologist Tim Jones, Tim the Weather Guy on YouTube here. That's my moniker. And of course, today is Monday. It's the last day of January, and we are going to start the month of February with the bang, not only with a lot of snowfall, mixed frozen precipitation, and of course, uh, some cold temperatures coming in behind the storm system, which is right now, uh, the winter part of it is up in the northwestern part of the United States, the Intermountain West and the Northern Rockies extending all the way up into Canada, but we'll see that cold air diving down behind a cold front here over the next couple days, and with that, uh, some very cold temperatures, but the main focus of this forecast uh, will be snow, as we get over the next few days and uh, we'll see this storm transitioning uh, tomorrow afternoon along this cold front initially starting off as uh, liquid precipitation in the form of rain some showers and thunderstorms uh, starting on I-70 in Missouri between Kansas City and uh, St. Louis, extending to the east through uh, Tuesday night, overnight into uh, Wednesday morning, all the way as far east as uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. But then we'll start to see this changeover starting in Kansas City, St. Louis area, back to the southwest in Kansas, North Texas, as well as uh, New Mexico and Colorado Tuesday night. We'll see that snow developing along the cold front and south. We'll see the wintry mix anywhere from uh, a quarter inch or more in places in that uh, dark purple uh, frozen uh, precipitation in the form of freezing rain. The white area, that's all snow. Now right along that cold front, we'll see a transition area with some sleet and freezing rain during that time frame. But I think from Indianapolis to St. Louis uh, to uh, Kansas City, back to Springfield, Missouri, and to the southwest, we'll see mostly north of that line uh, snowfall and uh, some very heavy snowfall as well. Now take a look from Indianapolis to St. Louis to Kansas City. In that area, we'll see six to eight inches or more. The heaviest snowfall in central uh, Illinois into north central Indiana, anywhere upwards of two feet could be possible, but I, th but I think 16 to 18 inches a little more likely, but again, wet, heavy snowfall initially. Uh, but the other issue is, is some of this rain that will fall initially, especially in potentially Kansas City, St. Louis, and Indianapolis, as those temperatures drop from above freezing all the way down into the upper teens to low 20s throughout the day Wednesday, we'll see some ice uh, under on the surface underneath of the snow that accumulates. So it'll definitely be an issue. And if you want to follow along, you want to follow my reports, you can watch me reporting live from Kansas City, more than likely, uh, on Weather Nation TV. There's a whole uh, plethora of ways to find us. The easiest way, if you uh, don't aren't familiar with this, is go to weathernationtv.com forward slash apps and you can find all kinds of information as where to find us but the most common is on Dish Network channel 215 Roku TV you can download the app through their system Pluto TV through their app uh, in the news section and of course either on weathernationtv.com or you can download the Weather Nation TV app free of charge on your Android or uh, iPhone device. So let's get back to the forecast here as uh, we take a look at the global model this is the American model as we go through time, you can see that blue area, that's all snow expanding all the way down that uh, extended cold front. The uh, other colors, obviously green is rain initially starting off in the afternoon. And then we'll see those pinks and purple areas, that transition line, and that'll be sleet and freezing rain. And there could be some significant freezing rain. Now the good news out of this, we won't see the winds anywhere as close in the forecast is what we saw on the east coast uh, with the uh, the weekend nor'easter. The good news is the winds will be a little less. We'll see about northeastern winds, uh, for northeasterly winds rather, from about 15 to 20 miles per hour, some gusts in the mid-20s, especially from St. Louis uh, to Indianapolis and to the east of that, that uh, could cause some issues with uh, ice accumulating on power lines, trees, uh, things like that that could bring some uh, cause some power outages and will definitely have a lot of travel issues uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday into Thursday as well. So here's my risk analysis. I think uh, this is a high impact storm, especially on Wednesday for accumulating snow, heavy snow at times, as well as freezing rain along that cold front. So uh, again, if you're from Dallas up to Little Rock, Arkansas, even as uh, up to St. Louis, and back to the east south of Indianapolis. Those are the areas that are the biggest concern here where you can see on the map on the left. But again, the, the conditions begin to deteriorate, especially around Interstate 70 
all the way through Kansas, Missouri, over to Illinois, uh, and into uh, Indiana, into Indiana rather, uh, from Tuesday in through Wednesday into Thursday. So again, but the worst of the worst will be, I think, on uh, Wednesday, especially throughout the morning from Kansas City uh, into St. Louis, and then from. Uh, Wednesday into Thursday morning from Indianapolis and points to the east. So again, uh, high impact storm once again as we look at the day planner, the hour by hour planner here uh, from for Kansas City. You can see starting off with light rain 4 o'clock Tuesday afternoon, transitioning to a wintry mix 10 o'clock on Tuesday night. By 8 o'clock on Wednesday morning we're looking at snow and then uh, that will continue as we get into Wednesday afternoon with things tapering off Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Notice the winds aren't terribly strong, but that is enough to blow snow around, especially as those temperatures diminish and the snow becomes a little lighter uh, and fluffier in nature. So looking at the uh, planner for St. Louis, you can see here that as we go through the afternoon on Tuesday, we're almost 50 degrees, so obviously rain that will continue through the evening uh, on Tuesday night. Then that transition starts overnight to Wednesday morning with the wintry mix transitioning into all snow by Wednesday morning continuing throughout the day on Wednesday. Again, wind's not terribly strong there as we take a look for Indianapolis. A little more delayed there. You can see on Wednesday morning, we start off with rain. We continue with rain on Wednesday uh, afternoon. Then we transition through the evening on Wednesday, and then by Thursday morning, we've got all snow, and that will continue all day on Tuesday. So obviously, the impacts begin sooner to the west and then uh, continue uh, a couple days later as the storm moves off to the east. That is the check of your forecast. Thanks so much for following along here with Tim Jones, Tim the Weather Guy, and I hope you'll uh, subscribe and like this. And again, hit that uh, notification button so you can always get uh, the notifications when I post a new forecast.